It was far from a landslide, but the majority of Wake County voters decided a little extra money out of their pockets was worth it for better transit. The next question is, who can expect to benefit the most and when? We sent CBS North Carolina reporter Carly Griffith to find out. Over the next 10 years, public transportation in Wake County will be transformed. But first, let's get the biggest question answered. How much will it cost you? A slight increase in their sales tax, which will cost the average Wake resident about 10 cents a day. And the tax only applies to consumer goods, not food, rent, or utilities, which also means anyone visiting Wake County and spending money is helping pay for the transportation plan. But I think more buses is definitely a good idea. Bus riders like Leroy Cauley are happy to see the referendum pass. He says more buses and routes are needed, especially for the morning commute. It's packed. Yeah, there, there's a lot of people here waiting to go to work. You know, they have to, they have to catch the buses early. We'll be able to increase frequencies uh, for some of our bus lines even within a year. After four years, the bus service will triple in Wake County. Within 10 years, you're going to have 40% of every job in the county on not just a bus line, but on a rapid transit line. Those in the business community say the transportation plan is helping guide their futures as well. Having reliable transportation that's available across the county for our associates to come downtown when they need it and where they need it is going to be huge for us. And some corporations are using the plan as a recruiting tactic. Assuring potential employees the Triangle will have transportation similar to that in bigger cities. While the bus piece of it is a really important short term, the increased commuter rail, the proximity to Union Station, and the proximity to Moore Square and continued bus growth is going to be really important for us as a region. In Raleigh, Carla Griffith, CBS, North Carolina. The soonest we could see that sales tax increase is April 1st, 2017. The public will have input on where new buses stops should go and which routes need more attention.